Hey YouTube, this is Brian from Custom Fast RC. Uh, getting ready to bring you guys another supercar build. The Rustler is just about finished. Uh, but of course, I had to go ahead and make some other changes on the Rustler again. Wasn't happy with the suspension situation and the uh, tire situation for the Rustler. Uh, the GPRs are awesome. But, uh, definitely worried about blowouts at upper speeds, so I'm definitely going to be making some changes. Like I say, the Jado arms are coming off. Um, hope to be finished with those mods in about a week or so, and I will definitely bring a video to you guys on that one. So, uh, be patient for that. Um, I'm going to start another supercar here. I chose the Serpent S120 LTX 12 scale. Also going to be going for the uh, the mini top speed record. The record holder for that right now is uh, Tito Medina. This is definitely not trash talk. I have uh, tons of respect for him. But anyways, uh, let's get started. This is a Serpent S120. Like with all Serpent cars, you are going to have to build them. The directions are pretty good. They are just illustration directions. There isn't too much in the form of do this first, put A and B together to get that. Uh, you're not going to find that in their directions. So anyways. This is a stock version of this car. Uh, to do the things I want to do. I'm working on the uh, aluminum upgrades for this car for everything to fit properly because uh, I'm going to go six cell on this car. Don't know if it's a first but uh, always looking to, to go outside the box on my builds. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is be able to mount two of these turnages. These are 3 cell, 60C, 120C burst. For those of you that have not heard of Turnagy A Spec G2s, uh, just 34753 used this brand of battery in both of his cars the uh, Rustler that did 144 and his Ofna that did 185. So they can't be all that bad. I'm going to give them a try. Uh, may experiment with some Max Amps also. So yeah, we're going to go 6L, two of these batteries here. I got the Mamba Monster 2. That is another reason I need to uh, do a different type of chassis because uh, I need to fit that big old speed controller in there. And the motor that I'm going to be using is a uh, 1415 series new motor. Still waiting for that to come in. This is a approximately the same size so just to give you guys a comparison uh, the reason for the big motor is I plan on going aggressive gearing on this car to get it up there in speed so that's why I'm going to put this big old monster in there with the 6 cell uh, some other upgrades that are going to be going on is I'm not going to use the 12 scale wheels and tires I am going to bump it up to a 10 scale. You can definitely see the size difference. With the taller tire, it'll definitely give me a little bit better top speed, also, as opposed to the 12 or yeah, the 12 scale wheels and tires. Went ahead and got some different compounds already. Now, if you do have a 12 scale and you want to run a 10 scale wheel and tire you're going to have to go ahead and get these uh, adapters still haven't gotten to that part yet but I know I'm going to need them to run the, the bigger tires uh, drag race concept sells a set and RJ speed sells a set uh, they're both considerably different from each other so Depending on what I'm going to need is uh, 
the ones I'm going to use. I'm going to give Acer a try this time instead of Boca for my ceramic bearings. These are the wheel bearings that i gotten so far. So yeah, 12 cell, or here we go again, 6 cell in a 12 cell car. Definitely excited about this one guys. To control it, finally got my uh, my Fataba. The instruction manual thing looks like a phone book. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to have to sit down with that and start figuring that out. I like the idea of using one controller. Just going to have to buy uh, a handful of receivers. From what I'm told, this is one of the best uh, ranged controllers you could buy. I'm sure there's better, but uh, I've seen them go up to eight, nine hundred dollars for controllers, and I'm not spending that. This is my limit right here. Okay, um, started with a couple bodies so far. I got a Tamiya body, a Protoform body. This is a uh, CRC body. So yeah, I just uh, went ahead and bought a different, couple different uh, types. I'm going to need it to be a little bit taller because I am going to have to run the speed controller on top of the battery. So I do plan on uh, doing some drag racing with this car also. Planning on using the VET body for that. It is aerodynamic, the wind will go over it very nice. Plus it adds that cool factor, the old muscle car look. So yeah, this is a this is it guys. Next supercar project. Wish me luck. Everything I have planned out for it so far, I do believe it'll work. It is gonna be a heavy little car, but uh that 415 new motor on there should push it along just fine a couple of weeks ago I got uh, my one of my 10 scales in the mail uh, this is what I'm gonna attack when I'm done with this 12 scale build I'm gonna get into the 10 scales uh, Detroit Motor City Car Club has definitely sparked my interest in drag racing Before you guys go out and buy kits, definitely uh, look at the Serpent kits. Um, they just seem to be so much better than most of the kits out there. But you are going to pay a lot more money for them. Just a roller with no wheels and tires or nothing. That was 500 bucks. I guess you get what you pay for. It's very, very similar to the uh, Serpent 977, but a 10 scale version of it. Uh, the ARM shot configuration, everything's almost identical to it. If you guys get a chance, check it out. Or check it out. Serpent.com. Select the promo button underneath the car, and it'll uh, give you pictures on most of the Serpent kits out there. And like the 12 scale, I'm going to have to build this one also. So, but anyways, yeah, that's it. That's the beginning of 2015 for Custom Fast RC. Um, hoping I could get this 6 cell, 12 scale to run some good numbers. Like I say, I'm also going to make a drag car out of this also. So, uh, come June for the drag racing event, I should be ready. But until next time, you guys have a great night. Later.